Hi, I'm Leanne King, and I would like to welcome you. Here's our well of a tell. We are going to be doing nothing that has to do with wells today, but that's okay, because we are going to make lemongrass marinade, because it is January 2015, and we are going to have a fresh start, and part of your fresh start is to laugh more this year, because let me tell you that you need to do that. Well, well, well. Oh, the Arwell's upside down. There he goes. Well, well, well. It is January 2015 and we're going to make lemongrass marinade because that is healthy for you and you could do it with chicken. We have chicken or you could do it with vegetables, whichever one you want. So I don't know another well joke except for just to tell you that that's what we're going to do. All right. So I have a little handy dandy blender. My son got me this for Christmas last year. I love it. You can do your tangy tangerine shakes in here, but we are not going to make tangy tangerine right now. We are going to make lemongrass marinade. So I have here lemon juice. I don't remember how much, but we're just going to pour it in there. So we have lemon juice. We have garlic. Lots of garlic because that is so good for you. You know what lemon juice is good for? Your liver. You guys need to do lemon juice all the time. And then uh, garlic. Did you know that like three cloves of garlic is the same as a dose of penicillin? So make sure you guys do garlic. Ginger. Ginger for your digestion and for your circulation. These are fun little cups from Dixie, I think. Way down south, the Dixie, but no, not there. At the store. <laughs> oh, lemon zest. Lemon zest. And let me tell you. I I thought, oh, lemon, let me tell you. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny today. So lemon zest in there. Lemon zest. That is like the little yellow part on the outside of the lemon. I didn't know that for a long time. Maybe some of you guys don't know that. So you take your lemon and you just grate just the yellow part. If you get the white part, it's bitter. Okay. Now we have liquid aminos here. And you can get coconut aminos. Um, there's all different kinds at your health food store. They are really good for you. And it's a substitute for soy sauce. And then we have raw apple cider vinegar. Raw apple cider vinegar is super good for you as well. It helps balance the um, acid in your stomach. And so lots of times people think, oh, I have heartburn or this kind of thing. They think they have too much acid. They don't. They need more acid to digest their food. And so raw apple cider vinegar is super good for you. And then we have melted butter. And so we got that in there. And we have raw honey. And I told you guys that raw, I've told you this before, but maybe some of you are new. Raw honey is in a clump like this. If your honey comes out of a honey bear and just squirts out, it is not raw honey. Look at that. Whoop. This is real. This is the real deal. And it is antibacterial, it's antifungal, it is so good for you. And then we have green onions. Why? Because Leanne loves onions. This is like all my favorite foods. So garlic and ginger and onions and honey. What more could I ask for? So, got my green onions in there. And then we have our salt, and I just used our Dead Sea salt, you know, just use that. All right. Well, he's going to bed now. Tell you something later. I don't know, I ran out of well jokes. So, now we're going to put the lid on our little blender. This is so cool, this is a fun blender when you're just doing a small batch, because when you use your big giant blenders, for something small like this, then you have to like dig it out. It's just a big pain in the hiney. So here we go. And I practice. There we go. Now, on my thing, it says to blend like for one or two minutes. But you know, you don't need to do that long. 
and then, oops, my oil is clear over here. And right after I blend, then I put my essential oil in. And the reason why I do that is because sometimes essential oils will melt the plastic on some of these blenders. And I don't want one of you guys calling me just one drop and telling me that I ruined your blender. So put your oils in last. And then I'm going to just sort of shake it up before I put it on here. Now, this is super easy. Look at hardly any dishes. So we have made hardly any mess here. And you use your Ziploc bags. I love these. And then we're just going to pour the marinade over that. And I cannot think of any chicken jokes. I thought of one earlier about this. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I remember now. My granddaughter just learned, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. But that doesn't really start to go along with this. But anyways, so here is this. And you're going to stick this in the fridge for at least two hours. Overnight would be even better. And this marinade is fantastic for vegetables. Maybe you don't like to eat meat. You just chuck, chuck up. Cut up a whole bunch of vegetables, put in here, put your marinade on them, and they are going to be so yummy. Now, this is a fabulous thing for you guys to serve at your next Yongevity Potluck or at your Roma Share Club, because that is what this is all about, right? Is getting together and being with people. You take your little Roma Share Club oils and you invite your friends over, go to your team member resources. Print off extra copies of the recipes so that those who are not yet members of the Aroma Share Club, and I think my oven just told me that something is done. So I'm going to turn that off for a second. And I want you guys to just invite your friends over. Make your Aroma Share Club meetings something that you look forward to every single month. Your friends will enjoy coming, and they will enjoy the yummy things, treats that you make while you're there and make the little sprays and the roll-ons and everything that we create for you and have fun with it. I hope you enjoy your lemongrass marinade, whether you do it on fish, chicken, or vegetables, or beef, or whatever, and have a great time. Thank you so much for joining me.